Good morning, tubers. Matt and Roy back again. Back to you on the 28th of January 2018. This is a Sunday. I'm sitting here in the guest room with Mr. Baxter here. You want to say hi, Big B? You want to say hi? Baxty. I think he's more interested in what's going on outside. What's that? What's that? People want to say hi. Good boy, Baxter. We yeah, haven't given you guys a view of Baxter in a while. Uh, getting ready to go to church. We were watching Sunday morning this morning. We always watch that on Sunday. That's uh, kind of our little tradition here. I want to thank everybody for coming to the uh, live stream yesterday. Hopefully, I, had, I, I noticed I had a new bunch of people come in. I think that's because I'm doing it at different times. I'm doing that in the morning versus the one before that I did at night. And uh, still working on my first cup of coffee here. Definitely going to continue to do those live streams. I really enjoy doing that. Um, if you haven't seen my latest um, post on Facebook, or if you don't follow me on Facebook, make sure you do that. Um, basically, I am down to 288 pounds. So vlogging life, if you see this, I'm right up with you, man. I'm right at that 288 mark, and uh, hopefully going to get down to 280 before I know it. That is such an attainable goal at this point. Um, I think I can make that within the next few weeks if I buckle down and am very, very careful. Um, on the other hand, I don't want to lose too well, too, bleh, I'm not talking this morning. I don't want to lose too quickly because it's harder to keep it off the faster you lose it. So I think what I'm going to do is find that sweet middle point. I'm not going to be eating a lot more, but I may cut back just a little bit on the exercise because my body is sore. My lower back, my legs, everything is just hurting me right now. I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I'm exercising pretty much five to six days a week. I might cut back next week to four, and then the week after I can bring it back up to five. That's the, one of the best ways to do it because you don't want to wear your body out. If you do it too much, if you exercise too much and you wear your body out, there's no point um, in doing it all because you're just going to get to the point where you are immobile almost because of your muscles. And that's kind of, I'm not like that right now, but I can feel the, the tension in my lower back. Um, my joints are okay, though, but mostly it's my lower back, my knees, a little bit. And uh, my ankles were actually a little um, swollen the other day. So I just need to take a, take a breather about that exercising for a while. And yes, you are still here. He's very nosy about something. I don't know what he sees. What do you see? What you doing? What you doing, nosy cat? Cu most curious creatures in the world, kitty cats. All right, Baxter, go back to looking at whatever you're looking outside. All right, Tubers, I'm going to go ahead and pause this vlog. We got to finish getting ready for church. I'm not even dressed yet. I am literally still in my pajama bottoms, and I'm not going to be wearing this shirt. This shirt, just to tell, just to show you, is a 5X. This shirt is when I was really, really big. Look at this thing just swims on me right now so i wear this around the house just as kind of a what they call a bum around or a sleep shirt yeah it's still good so i figured why get rid of it right i don't usually wear it outside because it literally looks like a moo moo it goes down to my knees and just absolutely looks terrible but once again i'm gonna pause this vlog we'll see what the rest of the day brings i do have a few other things i want to get to today might be another multi-day vlog we'll have to figure it out and i'll talk to you guys on the flip side it? What is it, Baxter? What is it? You gonna go get those birds? You gonna get those birds? Birds are freaking them out. You can see the birds right over there. It just freaks this cat out. <laughs> what are you doing, silly man? This guy is on twos. Why are you so funny, Baxter? I had to show you guys this. This is a riot. He he just he wants those birds so badly. What? Go get him. Go get him. I know. I know you want to eat those birdies, don't you? You do? Yes, you do. You know you do. Where is it? Where's those birds? You are a funny, 
You are a kooky cat, Baxter. All right, Tubers, church is over. We're here at Bangkok Garden getting some food. Oh, there we go. Now I can see your face a little better. I am going to pick out the L34 with the chicken. It's jasmine stir-fried rice with onions, eggs, and green onions. They're one of my favorites. So, yes, it has onions and green onions. Mm -hmm. And what are you going to get? You're going to get your usual? Get the pad thai with uh, shrimp and chicken. Which is mom's favorite. Mm -hmm. I used fun. to get that, but now I kind of switched off a little bit. We uh, just left church. We had a great service there. Talked a little. What did he talk about? Uh, about the different things. Uh, oh, I forgot. The, yeah. I, I wrote it Mainly I about. Um, I'll tell you. Self, well, it was kind of similar to last week. It was about a lot about self control, about. You know, our demons inside of us sometimes. That's why I write it down. How we need to be in, in yeah. the world, but not of it. It's called Living in a War Zone. The Attack of the World, Attack of the Flesh, and Attack by Satan. Yes. And it's so important that we, we follow what the good book says, the Bible. And uh, how we don't give in to the worldly pleasures, correct? Mm -hmm. And that's all I'm going to say. We but live in the world, but we're not. We're not of, of the world. world. Exactly. Well, I think Dad's coming back. We're going to order our food, and uh, maybe we'll go to Aldi afterward. We're trying to pick up some uh, chicken so Mom can make some um, chicken salad. Chicken salad and stuff for the, um, what do you call it, stew for the... Uh, oh, for the Brunswick, Brunswick stew. stew. I want to show you guys that, too, because that was so good last time. Dad's coming back, and I'll talk to you guys right, when we get home. Just finished our meal at Bangkok Garden. Really good. Got a full tummy, but didn't overeat, so that was a good thing, too. I had the jasmine rice, and I put a whole bunch of hot sauce on it this time. A little, little hotter than I usually eat it, but that's okay. Just uh, switching it up a little bit. Talked to a couple of people in there about my uh, fitness goals, and uh, apparently everybody else in there is on a weight loss kick, too. Though it's funny, they don't look at that. The, there may be like... They're in the point where they got to lose maybe 10 pounds, and I still got to lose 40 pounds. So, you know what? We're on different planes. We can all benefit from the same advice. I got to lose 40 pounds is better than 100. It is a lot better than 100. That's right, and that's where I had started originally. We're heading over to Food Line. We got to pick up some cold cuts. Then we're going to go uh, to the thrift store, drop a few things off. I'm going to look around. And then we're going to try to walk today. No, we are not going to try. We are going to walk today. We're going to the mall, get at least three, uh, three laps. And so we're going to pause this vlog, and I will catch you guys a little bit right, later. Tubers. Mom's getting the uh, off-the-bone ham. And I wanted to show you something because I had a lot of people asking me about this. Um, I made that 15 bean soup and they were asking me, Matt, where do you get the beans? At least in my local area, it's at our local food lion. And you have to be careful because there's two different kinds. There is the 15, regular 15 bean, which is this right here. You see it says 15 bean soup. That's the one that I get. And then there's also the one sitting next to it, which is the Cajun 15 bean soup. And you can see that right there. The main difference being the little packet they, they put in there. Um, the, the little packet in the regular one is a ham-based, and I have the hardest time holding this up. Thumbnail. But just make sure if you don't like things spicy, you just get the regular 15 beans, because uh, from what I understand, the people that have had it, the Cajun uh, one is really, really spicy. So just kind of an FYI for you guys. Did they have it? No. I told you. I, to I knew this place no, would bought, not have it. I know you. I know you did, but I've come here many times, and they are always out of it. Is that adorable? What is it? What does it's it say? It's Spicy it's tomato mug. soup recipe. Yeah, but it's a cute mug. I that is really cool. Yeah, not not like we don't have enough mugs in the house, no, I though, know. right? Well, soup mugs. Oh yeah, cute. yeah, I know, but still. But I told you, I remember last time we were here. She says it won't be. They until didn't tomorrow. have it. We'll have to check it ours tomorrow. then. Yep. We'll have to check at ours. And this is the best ham that we get. It's off the bone. And I bought it here. It's, it's fresh. Come here. Don't don't shy away. <laughs> it's really fresh ham. Very it's good. good. It's not like processed cold no, cut ham good. that you would get in the normal stores. I mean, this stuff is just like they cut it right off the ham bone. So we're going to get going. We got a few things we got to do. And I'll catch you guys when we All get right, home. All right, tubers. I'm waiting for mom. We're going to go ahead and walk the mall. But I wanted to give you guys an update on... My diet specifically, I've had a lot of questions about uh, what exactly I'm eating and kind of like the portions that I'm eating. 
And um, on the average day, my biggest meal is usually in the morning. In the morning, I'll have something like a uh, sausage, egg, and cheese, ham, egg, and cheese on a Kaiser roll. And for those of you who don't know what a Kaiser roll is, it's basically just like a hard roll, uh, a round piece of bread. I usually put on one or two thin pieces of American cheese, two eggs, and either sausage, maybe um, two or three pieces of thinly cut ham, and sometimes I'll even do two or three pieces of uh, cold cut chicken. And that's it. That's usually what I have for breakfast. Then for lunch, I usually have a protein shake. I use Ensure. Um, you can use pretty much whatever you want. There's Slim Fast out there. There's Boost. There's a whole lot of different ones. But I find that Ensure has just the right amount of calories for me. And before you ask, I don't actually buy the Ensure brand. I usually use a store brand. The Walmart Equate brand works well. Um, right now, I'm drinking the... Um, uh, what is it? Uh, Walgreens uh, brand in shore. Um, then usually I hold off that and I usually eat my breakfast around nine. My lunch usually I drink that around one. And then around four or four thirty, I'll usually have my dinner. That'll either consist of oatmeal, which I do have quite often. Or I might just have a regular dinner. Um, so like uh, last week I had some pork barbecue. And um, what else did I have? I had uh, some chicken pot pie. And then right before bed, sometimes I'll have like a uh, some crackers with peanut butter and a little bit of jelly because I do need to have something that increases my blood sugar enough. And that's generally what I'll eat over a day. That winds up, for me at least, adding up to enough calories. That's about 16 to 1800 calories. Now, if you're a smaller person, um, you may need to have a little bit less than that to lose weight. Um, but for a man my size, 290-ish pounds, uh, six foot two, that's about what I need to lose weight. Now, once I get down to my goal weight, I can start doing what they call a maintenance diet, which means I don't need to actually lose any more weight, so I can add a little bit more calories, but I'm always going to have to watch what I eat, because um, I always have that tendency to be a large person, and I hope that kind of explains a little bit about what I'm eating and how I'm eating. I see mom's coming, so we're going to go ahead and do our walk. Unfortunately, I can't film in the mall. That uh, avenue is closed now with the new security there. So I'm going to pause this vlog, and I'll catch you guys. On the all right, floor. tubers, we did three laps around the mall today. That's all we could handle. Our bodies are just too worn out, but that was still almost uh, three miles total with, every, with everything else we walked today. Yeah. So we're heading over to Lidl. Uh, Got to pick up some more coffee. I think mom's going to look at something. You want to go to Food Line again, right? To get, I get the, the ham. ham yeah. Hopefully to get the ham that we couldn't get at the other Food Line. We Fair actually out. have three Food Lines here to choose from. So uh -huh. believe me, if, if one doesn't have it, the other ones are bound to. So you know what, guys? I'm going to end the vlog here for today. I don't really have too much else to talk about. Hope you guys are enjoying these. Please continue to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody. Like mom said, have a blessed day. <laughs>